Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome, tribe, to Beginner's Flow. We will start seated today. So go ahead and come down onto your mats. My name is Shonda. I'll be guiding you through your practice. So feel free to grab a blanket and a block. Just allow the hips to be elevated so that the hips are falling down below the pelvic bowl. Also opening up your space and capacity to breathe. Um, feel free to adjust your legs and feet that feels nice and comfortable for you. Allow the crown of the head to start to lift up nice and tall. Press your sit bones into the block or the surface beneath you. Allow the shoulders to draw down the back, opening up. Feel free to draw the hands up for receiving or down for grounding. Softly close the eyes. Begin to tune into the breath. Feel the sit bones connected to the earth. Mama Gaya. As the crown of the head is also lengthening, reaching towards the sky. Start to tune inward. Moving from your outward experience to your inner experience. Start to notice the natural rhythm of the breathing without any efforts or judgment to make it change just yet. Just noticing where the breath flows nice and smooth, where there might be holding. Again, without judgment. Just noticing. Letting go of any busyness of the morning or the afternoon. Releasing any to-do lists. And just coming to the present moment. Each breath in. Each breath out. Start to deepen the breath. We're going to take some inhalations, nice and deep into the abdomen, suspending the breath, allowing the abdomen to open and expand. Lifting up through the ribs and the upper chest. Exhaling down through the chest, ribs. And drawing the pelvic floor up and in, those low core muscles. Sitting up nice and tall as you engage gently the pelvic floor. Again, inhaling, allowing the abdomen to expand and fill up. Lifting through the ribs and the upper chest. And exhaling down through the chest, rib, navel draws up and inward. As we continue to deepen the inhalations and extend or prolong the exhalations, I want to invite you today to inhale for the count of four. Exhale for the count of six. Hold for two counts and then begin that process again and I'll guide you through that. So let's take a nice deep inhalation. Exhale, releasing it nice and deep. Good, inhale, two, three, Four. Exhale. Two. Three. Four. 
five, six, hold, one, two, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, hold, one, two, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, hold, one, two, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, hold, four, one, two, inhale, one, two, three, four, release the breath, exhale, slowly and gently. Return to your natural breathing pattern. Releasing any control or breath technique. Let's draw the hands together in a heart center. Setting an intention for your practice today, gently bow the head to the heart, lift the heart to the heavens. Using a word or a phrase of words that resonates with you. Perhaps I invite you to create an intention of stillness. So finding strength and peace and resiliency in our stillness of our practice today. So we'll be holding postures for a little longer than we may be accustomed to, but without making a lot of adjustments. So I'll maybe guide you through a few alignment and adjustments or alignment cues. But I really want to focus on practice being still. There is another mantra or phrase that resonates for you for an intention. Please set that down. Repeat it silently to yourself three times. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale and allow the intention to settle through every cell of your being. Draw the head back up to center neutral. Release the hands down along the side. You can come up off of your block. We'll move into a few gentle movements today. Feel free to switch your feet out the top. That's good for you. So sitting up nice and tall. Hands are down on the knees. Crown of the head is reaching up nice and tall. Let's inhale, scoop up the earth, air energy. Fill it up, surround your aura. Reach nice and tall through the fingers. Plug the shoulders in. Inhale, reach, and as you exhale, begin to shift over to the left, allow the left palm to come down to the mat, reach the right hand across, over to the left. Again, finding some stillness here, try to keep that left hip drawing down towards the mat, reaching the, excuse me, fingertips nice and long. And breathe. Nice deep yoga breathing. Trust yourself. Trust your skills. Feel free to close and soften the eyes. Having faith and confidence that you're hearing exactly what you need to hear 
and your body is following the cues, the listening skills. Good, inhale, coming back up through center. Allow the right hand to meet the mat alongside the hip. Inhale, scoop up the air. Reach that left arm up and over. Allow the bicep to draw in line with the ear. Spread the fingertips nice and wide. Press away from the mat with the palm of the right hand. Keep the left hip connected. Find your breath. Length, find length on the left side. Inhale, coming back through center. Release both palms down to the mat. Sit up nice and tall. Let's draw the um, palms of the hands on the outside of the knees or resting gently on top of the knees. We're going to take a few hip circles here. So sitting up nice and tall. Really press the sit bones into the mat. Draw the core in. Inhale, reach the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. And then begin to gently... Move the chest and torso over to the right, moving it forward, over to the left, and then softly rounding into the back. Inhale, coming forward, over to the left, rounding into the back, and then moving over to the right. So just taking nice and slow, mindful hip circles here, feeling the sensations of the back, the hips, maybe the glutes, the core, just feeling into your practice. We'll take a couple more rounds here and then we'll switch directions. Feel free to take any moments that your body is calling for and pause into the body if, say, there's some more space or holding or tension that the body needs in certain areas. Breathing into those spaces, creating space as we release tension, holding. space for new creativity, new energies. Good. As you make your way forward again, go ahead and move to the opposite side. Noticing how that feels for the body. Perhaps noticing a balancing effect. Nice circular, smooth and mindful pattern. Again, feeling free to pause and find stillness in many areas. Maybe that's different for each person, each body. Continue to find your breath. Maybe really rounding and accentuating that rounding in the low back. Good, maybe even as you come to center, staying and just doing a few cat-cow movements here. So opening up the chest, the heart, draw the shoulders down and away. 
Reach the tailbone down for cow, seated cow. Exhale, rounding into the back, tucking the chin, drawing the navel inward for scary cat, seated cat. Feel the length in the back of the spine, the neck, perhaps the back of the head and the tops of the glutes. And just take a few more rounds of that. And then coming back up to neutral seated position. Let's make our way over into tabletop position. From here, we're going to take the toes, place them together, allow the knees to spread nice and wide on the mat and reach the hands forward. We'll make our way into child's pose. Perhaps inhaling into the front of the hip creases, allowing the sacrum to reach down towards the heels. Keep the fingers spread nice and wide, expanding in all directions and then finding some stillness here. Perhaps you find that count of breath, so inhaling one, two, three, four, exhaling for six, one, two, three, four, five, six, hold, one, two, inhale, one, two, Three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, hold, one, two, and let's take a few rounds of that at your own pace. Last round of counted breathing. And releasing the counted breath, begin to inhale, draw the abdomen. Engage and walk the hands back to upright seated position. Let's draw the knees together. Taking this time to come into tabletop position. Spread the fingers nice and wide. Knee is about hip distance apart. Toes directly pointing behind you. Reach and lengthen the tailbone towards the back of the mat. Gaze is just a few inches in front of you. Wrists directly below the shoulders. So finding some stillness here in our tabletop, keeping the core drawn up and inward reaching the crown of the head forward. Nice, long, flat back here. That's what we're going for is an energetic lengthening and stabilization. And keep pressing into the mat with the knees, the tops of the feet. Just away from the mat with the wrist strength, perhaps even gripping the mat with the fingertips creating a little bit of a suction, and also creating resistance. Finding stillness. Good, let's tuck the toes under here. Sit the hips back towards those heels. Keep the arms engaged. 
And beginning for downward dog arms, notice the placement of the hands as you feel that lengthening and stretch in the toes, reach the tailbone down. And begin to press away from the mat with the hands, begin to press into the toes, straightening into the knees just a bit. You can keep a slight bend into the knees, finding your down dog. Finding that bend into the knees as we warm up the back body, creating space between each vertebrae. As you press into the mat with the hands, keeping the biceps engaged and alongside the ears, allow the neck to grow long. Allow the tailbone to reach up nice and tall. Find your stillness there. Find your breath. Nice, deep yoga breathing, at extending the exhalations a little longer than the inhalations. Building your internal fire here. Find some comfort in the stillness. Good, let's look up at the top of the mat, come up onto the tiptoes and slowly tiptoe the feet forward to the top of the mat. Allow the palms to hang nice and heavy. Again, let's take a bend into the knees, allowing the abdomen to rest gently onto the tops of the thighs. Perhaps you grab a hold of the elbows with the palms of the hands, framing the head. And feeling the abdomen released on the tops of the thighs. Good, releasing the palms of the hands to the mat. Begin to straighten into the legs. Take an inhale, come up halfway, lengthen that back, reach the crown of the head forward. So here you want to draw the shoulders down and away from the ears. Draw that core in, reach the tailbone nice and long, gaze is a few inches out in front of you, crown of the head is reaching forward. Nice and long. Good, releasing it back down, finding your forward fold. Good. Bringing the palms of the hands to the mat, step the right foot back, find your runner's lunge here. Using blocks, if you'd like, keep a nice 90 degree angle between the ankle and the knee, the left foot. Use the blocks if you need to, they can be on any level, bring the floor up to you, stay nice and long, lengthened and engaged here. Try not to dump all the weight onto the hands, the wrists, or the top of that left thigh. Stay nice and strong. Find stillness and strengthen the stillness.
Good releasing the blocks down to the side if you have them. Let's release that right knee down to the mat, opening up the front of that right hip here. So feel free to adjust the pose of the front foot as you need to. Perhaps finding a little bit deeper of a stretch in the front of that right hip flexor. Find stillness, find your breath. Good, let's sit the hips back towards the heels, opening up the back of that left hamstring. Coming in to half splits. If you are a beginner in full split moves on your practice, then go ahead and feel free to come there. But we haven't done a lot of warming up, so perhaps just consider staying here now. So in this posture, you can flex or pointed toes, but I, again, just want to invite you to find some stillness here. So find what feels good and let's breathe there. Keep the back nice and long, chest and chin long. Breathe into the back of the leg. Remember your breathing. Good. We're moving nice and slow through this practice. Feel free to shift it forward and adjust the foot as you need to. Maybe you pause here for just a moment. Tuck the toes of the right foot under. Lift that right knee up off the mat. Release the palms of the hands down to the mat. And step that left foot back. Find your plank position. And releasing the knees down to the mat. Sit the hips back to the heels. Find child's pose. This time we'll be in somewhat of an active pose, feeling the abdomen resting on the tops of the thighs. Stay grounded and connected here. Again, finding that nice counted breathing. Feeling the abdomen, the sensation as it massages the internal organs and the tops of the legs. Good, releasing the counted breathing, <clears throat> making your way up to tabletop. This time we'll step that left foot forward, walking the toes gently out in front of you as you need. You can keep that left knee on the floor. If you need some extra padding or blanket or um, whatever to protect the knee joint, you can always roll the mat in half or have a blanket below that knee. So just find what feels good for you. Open up the front of this left hip. Flexor here.
head soft and then relax into the stillness or not maybe a little uncomfortable you might find a little bit of discomfort but see if we can breathe and be still with it give it some space to be Feel free to close your eyes, allow the experience to stay internal, try not to escape from our bodies, not allowing your mind to distract us where we're going to be next. Just give that hip flexor the front of that thigh full attention and awareness. <laughs> Good, begin to sit the hips back towards the heels. Keep that right foot nice and long. We'll come into half splits here. Again, find what feels good. The toe can be pointed or flexed. But once you find what feels good, I want to encourage you to just pause and be where you are. Play around with the edge of your pose. So you feel that with our edge, we feel a nice stretch and we pause and we breathe there. Giving the body the space and attention, awareness. Good, making your way back into runner's lunge. Feel free to adjust the right foot, making sure that this knee is right in line with the ankle. Tuck the toes of the left foot. Find your runner's lunge here. So again, using the blocks at any height. Finding what feels good. Trying to stay lifted and pressing that right foot nice and deep into the mat. Keeping that left um, foot nice and long. So feel free to use that counted breath throughout any portion of your practice today. Good, releasing the blocks. Release that left knee down to the mat. Draw the right knee back behind it again, finding your child's pose. We keep the knees together here, find your breath, breathe into the low back, allow the hips and the sacrum to widen and expand. into our neutral tabletop position. Walk the knees forward. 
making your way down onto your seats. From here, you're going to come into um, boat pose. So keeping the feet about hip distance apart, maybe a little closer together. Sit up nice and tall with the chest, chin, and the crown of the head. Draw the low core in. Perhaps you gently draw your palms of your hands gently behind the backs of the legs. Sit up nice and tall here, but begin to engage the core. So allowing yourself to gently sit back, perhaps the feet stay where they are, but they're nice and engaged. So you're still engaging the core, even if your feet are on the mat. Perhaps you'd like to lift the feet a little bit up off the mat, stay tall and lift it with the chest and the chin here. And you're breathing. Perhaps you can get a little longer, sit back a little deeper, point the toes forward. And if you can come into full boat without allowing yourself to slouch around into the back, feel free to do that. Maybe you're just here today and that's completely okay. Maybe the hands can come out by the sides, alongside of the legs. Got this, keep holding, keep breathing. Good. If you have the hands along the sides, grab a hold of the backs of the legs and slowly make your way down onto the mat, hugging the knees into the chest. Again, it's our tendency to maybe rock side to side, feeling a low back massage, but today I want to encourage you just to find some stillness. Keep hugging the knees into the chest. Perhaps even lengthening the tailbone down or up towards the top of your mat as you press the small of the back into the mat. With your inhale, you find expansion, allowing the air to fill up space, broadening the back across the mat. Good. Let's cross the ankles, grab a hold of the outside edges of the feet, and rock yourself up to a seated position. From here, let's make our way onto our hands and knees, gently coming into table top position. Let's tuck those toes. Sit the hips up and back, find your down dog. Looking up at the top of the mat, walking yourself gently forward to the top of the mat. Inhale, coming up halfway. And exhale, holding it forward. Let's take this time to align the feet. We're going to make our way into Utkatasana chair pose. So allow the hands to come outside of the ankles. Begin to sit the hips. Let's take a deep bend into the knees. Sit the hips back. And we'll inhale, reach the arms up nice and tall. So stay strong in the core, drawing the core up and inward. Reach through the fingertips. So let's inhale, hold, 
exhale as you exhale, exhaling for the count of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold. Inhale, one, two, three, four. And then begin to straighten the knees. One, two, stay nice and tall and lifted, extended to the asana. Exhale. Begin to sit the hips back, bending into the knees. One, two, three, four. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Exhale. Begin to hold it forward. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pause here. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Straighten into the legs. One, two, hands come together at heart center. Take a moment to release the hands down by the sides. Feel the downward pull of energy connecting with Mother Earth. Reach the crown of the head up nice and tall. Allow anything that's no longer serving you with the fire that we've been building, the tapas that we've been building. Allow it to be absorbed into the earth, returned and to be recycled. Good, let's place our hands on our hips. Let's come out to the wide edge of the mat. Um, for you, I guess you could stay um, at the top of your mat if your mat is facing me. If your mat is long, you can come uh, this way. We're going to do a moment to take a little bit of um, Garudasana prep. So taking a bend into the knees, let's draw that right knee up and in, and then place that right ankle on top of the left thigh. So continue to sit the hips back nice and strong. You can keep the toes flexed, the foot flexed so that we're protecting the ankle joint. And allow the hands to gently rest. So we're not forcing or pushing anything away, but just gently resting. Stay strong in that left foot, finding your balance here. Good, let's inhale, begin to straighten into that left leg. Draw the right knee in towards you. Keep the toe flexed. Exhale, release, sit down. We'll come on to the opposite side. So finding a nice, strong, stable stance here. Begin to press all of the weight into the right foot. Take a bend into the left knee, draw it up towards the body. Maybe you hug it in, keep nice and strong and engaged in that right leg, the white, right quadricep. Begin to place the left ankle over the top of the right thigh. And then just begin to gently and slowly sit the hips back, <laughs> finding a justy point if you need to. Stay nice and strong here. Hug everything inward, stay nice and engaged. When we start to lose engagement, we start to lose our um, footing, our balance a little bit. It's okay if we fall out, just stay mindful, come back into the posture, that's our practice. Maybe noticing one side is quite different than the other. Go ahead and stand up nice and tall. Let's hug that left knee in. Pause here. Keep the foot flexed. And release the left knee down. So take a moment to shake it out gently. So finding your footing. Let's take this time. To inhale, nice and tall. Again, to sit the hips back to the heels. Coming into a gentle chair. 
and then crossing that right, yeah, right um, knee over the left. Perhaps you can place the toes on the floor here, just on the outside of the left ankle. Perhaps you can sit it a little deeper and draw the toes behind the back of the calf. Let's take the arms out nice and tall, spread them nice and wide, fingertips nice and wide. Take the left arm underneath the right, stack the elbows and coming into evil pose, Karmadasana. Pulling everything together here. Keep drawing the elbows up and away from the body. If you can't, Cross the hands, the palms of the hands can meet, or you can have the hands at the shoulders. So find your variation and find some stillness. Good, release the arms out nice and wide, get nice and expansive here, like spreading your eagle wings. Begin to straighten into that left foot and leg, and let's shake it out. And we'll move on to the opposite side. So pressing nice and firm into that right foot. Begin to take a deep bend into the knees. And crossing that left knee over the right. Again, if your toes meet the mat on the outside of the ankle, that's perfectly fine. If you can get a little deeper into your pose, you can cross the toes behind the ankle, let's inhale, spread those eagle arms. Get nice and long, expand. And then as we exhale, we'll draw that right arm underneath the left. <laughs> and begin to press the shoulders, widening in the back of that neck, the upper shoulders, keep the core hugging in. Allow the elbows to lift up and away from you. Good, inhale, open up nice and big. Spread those wings, expand. Straighten into the right knee and allow the left arm, left leg, to come down by the side, let's shake it out. Beautiful. Let's make our way to the top of our mat. Take a nice deep inhale, swoop up the air nice and slow. Exhale, folding it forward. Let's hang gently here for a few breaths. Good, release the top, so the hands to the mat. Let's step both feet back to the back of the mat. Allow the knees to come down. Shift the chest and chin forward, making your way all the way down onto the mat. So allow the forehead to meet the mat. Begin to press the tops of the feet, engage the legs, and then softly relax and release. Let's extend the arms nice and long out in front of you to the top of the mat. Taking a nice deep inhale here, begin to lift the toes, the legs, engage the quadriceps, lift the chest up off of the mat. And then draw the arms back into cactus arms, so opening up the chest and heart. And let's breathe here.
Deep breathing, you've got this. Good, relax it down, draw the right cheek to the mat, allow the hands to come down alongside the body. Switching to the opposite cheek if you haven't done so already. Good, let's draw the forehead to center. Let's take the tops of the hands, placing them on the back, even making the like downward facing triangle on our sacrum. Okay, so take a nice deep inhale. As you inhale, begin to lift up the legs, lift up the torso on the chin, and keeping the left hand where it is, spread the right hand out nice and long alongside the ear. As you exhale, draw that right hand back, place it back into the triangle position, Release the right cheek down to the mat. Inhale, lift through the legs, the chin. Coming back to center, extend the left arm nice and long. Exhale, left hand draws behind you. Coming back to the sacrum. Left cheek releases to the mat. We'll take this three more times. Inhale, engaging everything, lifting up off of the mat, reach the right hand forward. Inhale here, exhale, draw that right hand back, top of the palm meets the back, right cheek rests on the floor. Inhale, engage, draw the left arm out nice and long. Draw the left hand back to the sacrum. Release the left cheek to the mat. Inhale, coming back through center. Right hand comes out nice and long. Exhale, right hand comes back to the low back sacrum. Right cheek meets the floor. Inhale. Pressing the hips and the thighs into the mat, tops of the thighs, left arm gets nice and long, reaching it alongside the body to the top of the mat. Exhale, draw the left hand behind you, left cheek meets the mat. Coming back to center here, release the hands down by the side. Take the palms of the hands, press them below the shoulders, engage the core, knit the hips back to the heels. Find your child's pose. Breathe into the low back. Nice little counter pose here. Find your breath. And walk the hands back towards the body, coming up into hero position. I'm going to breathe just a few times here in Thunderbolt or Hero. Allow the chest to expand, collarbones expanding to the left or the right, crown of the head reaching up. 
Feeling the sit bones sink nice and deep into those heels. Softly close the eyes, feel the connections in the body. Make our way on to our backs here. Allow the knee or the heels to be that. Soles of the feet, knees coming up towards the ceiling. Take a moment to make that little triangle resting on your low ab abdomen, the sacral chakra. Let's breathe a few times here. Find your stillness. Good. Let's take this time to hug the knees into the chest. Staying still, press the small of the back into the mat. Feel the abdomen massaging with the thighs, the contact with the thighs. And gently bring the legs nice and long out on the mat. Allow the hands to stay placed on that sacral area if you wish. Just focusing on the creative energy, grounding down into your practice with the root. Releasing all that no longer serves us and finding your stillness in Shavasana. So feel free to get any wiggles out, make adjustments with the body. Gently tuck the shoulders underneath the back. And sink nice and deep, feeling safe and supported by Mother Earth. Draining yourself of all that's no longer serving you, allowing it to return to source, nature, to be recycled energy, creating space for you in this vessel, for new opportunities, expansion, growth, new doors to open, new habits thought patterns. So rest deeply in this knowing that you can release the things that are no longer serving you, feeling safe and supported by Mother Earth, Mama Gaia. Breathe into your womb space, the sacral chakra, Svarisana. Allow the breath to come to a neutral, natural breathing. Allowing it to rise and fall on its own accord. Resting nice and deep into Shvatana with 
want to thank you for joining us today. This grounding practice, finding stillness as we create space and awareness, allowing shift to happen. I invite you to remain in your Shavasana for up to 11 minutes or longer if you wish. Taking time to really be with the stillness. There's so much busyness in our lives, so much doing. Allow yourself this time, create this time for yourself, this space for yourself, to allow yourself to just be without any demands from anyone or anything or the demands of the mind. Feel your body resting in still. Give yourself that gift. Thank you for joining us and allowing me to be your guide. I hope to see you next time. Have a great day, Trek.